Hi, I am the Thousand Pound Pig, and I'm here playing Rodina. Rodina is a, a space exploration game, they say. So I'll just start it. And look at this. The menu screen was a trick. You can walk around. Nowhere to go. It's a very dark game, as you can see. Beautiful skybox. Ah. Oh. Uh, I guess I could just go to that green circle. I have seen quite a bit about this game. There's not much gravity, so if you jump, you jump quite a bit. It feels like you're floating for a while. Oh crap. No damage. No fall damage. Awesome. What's that, this green circle? Oh. Is that... Yes, that is a ship. That's a... Uh... A very um a very interesting looking ship. It's very dark. Very dark. How do I get inside it? What's Oh, oh my god, it's so dark. Open airlock out. I don't know how to open this door, hang on. Whoa! Now it's light. Look at that. Awesome, guess I'll go in. Open airlock in, airlock computer. Uh well. Ah, oh, that's cool. Being closed in. So what's this? Air pressure. Open airlock in, close airlock, open airlock out, modify ship layout, remotely pilot ship. Oh, uh, we'll have a quick look. Door. Oh, dark corner. Okay. Door again, I guess. What's this barrel? Huh. Storage table. Okay, this is interesting. It's obviously a very simplistic style. There's a lot of things here, like sinks, so I guess they want you to interact with all this stuff, but it is still a very new game. Let's do the sound. Let me open those doors. What's in here? Barrel storage closets. They don't look like storage closets. What can they hold? Tiny. Just a bunch of storage. What's this? Different texture? Oh, this is flesh. Oh, this is a bed. Small bed, but... Huh. Aha! A toilet. Toilet shower, can I turn it on? I can't... I can't get in it. Look at that plant. <laughs> a very, very simplistic style. Very blocky. Sounds familiar. Operations computer, this looks very important. Pilot station? Oh, scanners? I think I've missed an area or something. What's this? Pilot wave right... Oh, I'll try this. Urgent message. Blah blah blah. Need to find the decryption keys before opening the encrypted. Okay. So it seems like you can interact with almost all the things, or they intend for that. Obviously, this game isn't finished yet. I love the, all the storage space. You can probably put stuff in there. Imagine like this being a mod to like Skyrim. So this is just a big player home which you can drive around. Ah. Oh. What's this? Stupid corridors. Uh, liminal drive. No, nothing's happened when I press on this. Maybe that's the thing which makes you go faster than light. Anyway, you can... Oh, what's this? Oh, battery array, looks like beer. Damn. Very interesting. This looks like the kind of thing you would have a bot control. So is this like a FTO or something? Well, I guess we'll drive for a bit. Actually, we'll look at this scanner first. Zorica system. Uh, equipment? I have no equipment. I have no data. Alright. Can we... Can't sit down or anything? Can't jump over there? Pilot station. Space to move the ship up. Oh, sweet. It has boosters. Now oh, where do we go? 
Press our mouse button to engage the clutch. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, okay, why am I pointing down? Okay, it's quite sluggish with the controls. I can book. Yeah, this game really needs a speed. I don't know how fast I'm going. It's hard to tell if you're moving at times. It looks like I am definitely moving with this. When you hold down W and you see the blue pixels. Going a bit fast. Okay, how do I... That's how. Use a mouse. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, how do I get down? Shift. Okay. Jesus. This thing is very fiddly to control. The music seems alright. It seems fitting. Whoa. I'm getting damaged. This is freaking impossible. Oh, come on. Oh, I saw fire. How do I... How do I... <laughs> this is stupid. How do I slow this thing down? I'm spinning. No, I'm upside down. Uh, obviously, it's like in sound effects. That's... I'll just go... The ship has landed, really? Tablet, tap to exit. The ship must be stationary. I'm trying to tap to exit. Oh my god. Alright. We will go outside and have a look at things. I can't see the ground. Okay, it is. It is there, it's very dark. So, what's this? Do I have to pick this stuff up? Cruise engine upgrade. Whoa, okay. Now you can travel to other asteroids. Look up to find the radar signals of heavenly bodies. Traveling a child's first ABCs. You can read that later. <laughs> is there anything else to pick up here? What's this? Missile ammo, oh! Empty crate. Woo! Missile ammo. Oh, one more. Very sensitive controls. Where to go? Very, very dark. Empty barrel. Which I know space is dark and all, but it doesn't need to be boring, crazy dark like this. And I've lost my shit. Alright. What the hell is this? What? Oh, this is my ship. <laughs> See? Way too dark. Oh my god. I do want to do this now. Modified ship layout. So this... I have seen pictures of this, and this looks like the main mode. This is a ship. That's where the captain's quarters is. The other bed, some... I don't know. You do lab stuff in there. That's a bridge. I think this must be the warp drive in front of the bridge. Kind of weird. Storage all over the place. And we are right here at the moment. The airlock. So there's tiles, sets, entities and decorations. I'll try decorations first. That's usually simple. Light. Light 2. Well, we'll put a light somewhere. Put a light in this dark corner. Interesting. Put a light in uh, this corner. And put light one in um, uh, in this corner for now, just just as an experiment. Done. I probably should save that. Oh. Okay, back in the airlock. All right, now this place should look a little bit different. Yes, here's a light I put in. Another light. It's a lot brighter now. This isn't the dark corner anymore. And another light. So, don't know why they call them light 1, 2, and 3. I guess these have different colors on them. I don't know. Anyway, let's go back. Tile sets and entities. What's all this stuff? Oh my god, it's. Oh! 
Oh shit. How do I... Clear. Oh crap, I'm stuffing it up. Okay, my ship has a hole in it. Um... Uh... Hmm. How can I get that back? Hey! Got it. Oh shit. Messing it up again. Got a little secret room. Oh crap, I'm screwing that up. Oh crap, <laughs> this is stupid. Uh, clear. Oh my god. Oh my... Huh. Okay. Uh, tile sets bridge, living area. Um, let's try bathroom. Oh, so you can make a bathroom, so this is a tile set. So you just change the floor and walls, I guess. Engineering. So, what's engineering then? I guess here. I guess all over the place. Living area, I guess, would be where this place is. Yeah, it is. Corridor would be this black area. Yes, it is. Bridge. That. Yes. So the tower says is interesting. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, we can have toilets. Yes. Alright. I like having my crew prepared. This should help them. If there's a way to delete one, that would be nice. Yes. I can move stuff around. Scanners, we'll just chuck one there. Pilot chair. Um. Why not? Rug. Huh. House plant, sure. Let's put a liminal drive, whatever that is. Okay, now let's go back. Save. Oh, whatever. Done. Close. Spray that crap in my face and let's go check it out. Let's see the mess. Lights are still there. So this is a tile, it does change the walls as well. This is corridors, it's obviously a bit more than just squares, kind of cool. And this is the mess, scanners, so these work? Oh crap. Uh, okay, close this. And, yep, and this is the corridors with all the thousands of toilets. Ah. Alright, let's look at this crappy room I screwed up. Look at this amazing room. Even has a door. A door straight to the bathroom, that's okay. But I, I, I planned that, right? So you see a few white circles all over the place now on these stars. Which is very interesting. I guess I'll just fly to one. Yes, I am getting near it. Whoa. Hey, I see it, I see it. Whoa. Oh, crap. Combat speed. Okay, sweet. This is a little asteroid, so I guess all these asteroids are all over the place. This does remind me of um, Star Trek Online. <laughs> Jesus, far away. Okay, this seems to be very sensitive, so let's see how sensitive. Creeping speed. Combat speed, creeping speed. Come on. Combat speed. And the music has changed. Whoa, what's this? Jesus. What's this thing? Oh my god, it has guns. It shot, me, it shot at me first. So much pixely bullets. So there's no zoom. Jesus. Too much. I'm in trouble. No. I saw red pixels. Some fire. Huh. 
So can I land on this asteroid? It's it's just so dark. It'd be nice if I had like a big torch on my ship. Whoa, well, that sound looks like I'm landing. If I'm on fire, that's how I land. The ship has landed, so I press tap to get out. The ship must be stationary. Tap. All right, sweet. Wow, that thing is still on fire over there. And we're walking on an asteroid. I could just keep going, it seems. Oh, this asteroid is very dark. It's The art style is obviously very minimalistic. Going for the same colors, the same tile sets everywhere. It's ambitious. I'll give it that. It is ambitious, but it is very calming, as a lot of good space games usually are in space. Oh, look at this. So, can I... I can spin around. Get down. Oh my god, crash, whatever. Ship has landed. Let's check this out. Oh, it's... Look at this, actual light. So, I can pick up stuff. Data stick? And normally is... Let me know, blah 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 blah. Check out this feed, I just have to be an edit console. Add to archives. But this is a demo of the full version, which you can download this off their site, which I will put in the description down below for you. It seems like you can just play this forever, going to all these different asteroids. But how much time do I have left? 32 minutes. This key will allow you to read more of the encrypted communications on the FDL radio. And I'll pick this up. Missile ammo. So. Oh, look at this. There's my crappy ship. I wonder if you can make that bigger. This this looks like seems like one of those games which is too ambitious. Oh, that music. You can just go anywhere in this place it seems. This looks like it has a ton of potential, as in if they add in a compass to the game, like typical Bethesda do, this could be so big. Which maybe this was just a proof of concept. Maybe this was just one developer just saying, you know, screw you guys, I'll make my own game and I'll show you how this can work. It does work, it works very well, you know. This would have take, taken a lot of work to do. So this is Redina, big exploration game made by Elliptic Games, which I heard is just one person. And he used to work for Bethesda, or he currently still does, I don't know. Maybe too ambitious, because it's just so big at the moment and it is very. It, it has a few issues, like that ship looks crap, the whole simplicity style, I like simplicity but this much is a bit, well, the gameplay matters and there doesn't seem to be that much in this, it seems like it will get very old if this is just a game, you know, but I guess they are, they are still adding more things to it. So, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. If anything, this is a proof of concept of the future of space games. The future is bright. And very dark.